but it has an epigraph from William Golding's Lord of the Flies. We did everything adults would do. What went wrong? And it starts uh, on day X in London. It returns, or so it seems. No way of knowing if it's the same, but the hatred I have developed for it is personal. Hatred is a strong word. Resentment is inadequate. Each time I spray it with lavender water, sending it back out the window. The process requires luck and precision. After, also in London, it goes straight up my nose. Outrunning, mucous membranes working, and I don't really see it, just feel its introduction to my nasal cavity. Mouth would have been the obvious entry passage, but no, no, it is. <laughs> Past my deviated septum, it is lodged somewhere in the cornea. Still running. Try to feel if it's moving, but it's hard to tell. Before, also in London, a sunflower. It's annual and definitely of interest to bees. Bees are good. Bees are not plants. Also before, uh, on a tiny city in Nor Norway called Halsa. It has only five legs, so it is special. And we decide to name it Berit. My dad, my brother and I, in my grandparents' kitchen, planning a fishing trip. By the time we get back, Berit will have disappeared. Day X. Not big enough to make me choke. In any case, I try snorting to dislodge it. Ungraciously, spit. Neither helps. By now I can feel it's making its way down the nasopharynx, sliding across the top of my palate. Snort again, spit again, nothing. I wonder if it's drowning in foam or squished by nasal tissue. Before, in Oslo. There are five large ones in the living room, circling the petals of an Ikea lamp. One by one, they're hunted down with the nozzle of a hoover. I am Bond, James Bond. <laughs> Day X. Wonder if I should feel sorry for it. On the path in front of me is a couple with a pram. The man examining the woman's face. I think she's crying. Then realise she's got something in her eye. I wonder if this too is the fly. I'm tempted to try the snort spit manoeuvre again, but worry it might seem rude out of context, with a child present and everything. Before, UK airspace. It is the kind that emerges from compost small and erratic. It is charming. Plane was delayed coming from Athens, but we're finally airborne. I am willing it to land on my hand, but it doesn't. Somehow I find myself moved by biology insisting on instinct under such conditions. I have already cried on this trip, for different reasons. The light indicating we must fasten our seat belt, seatbelts is turned on and it disappears. Day X. My nose is running, but gravity dictates it must evacuate from my lips. It pa passes the oropharynx, slides into my oral cavity. It is small, delicate. It is also very dead. I wipe, wipe it from my tongue, glance at it, a black dot covered in spit, then wipe it off on my t-shirt. Before, in London, two pots of unidentified blue flowers, without the basket, please. Possibly perennial, possibly of interest to butterflies, Butterflies are not flies. Within a week, both will have been eaten by slugs. After. This time it falls to the carpet. I keep spraying it. There's no poison, I'm not evil. But I know the water blocks his spiracles. The opening to its trachea. I know I'm choking it. The wings are flailing, but crumble. I keep spraying. It would be kinder to squish it, but I can't do that. It's struggling and I feel sick. I give it a finger, gently, to climb onto. It hesitates, possibly out of exhaustion. I throw it out the window, but it doesn't catch flight. And I realise at this point that's kind of a sad note to end on. Um, so, the problem with flies is that flies, like many other things, they, you don't find them when you need them. But I found two. <laughs> um, so, if you, or just, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a poetry reading, so if you see, it doesn't really matter, I guess. You can imagine that there's two flies in here, and take my word for it. Um, and then, let's see if we can let them up.
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs>